Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Asheville Grit Vegas Weekend Update. We are gearing up for Halloween this weekend and we have some exciting things to share with you. I'm Allie McGee of AshevilleGrit.com here with Jason Sanford of AshVegas.com. Jason, how are you? I'm doing great, Allie. How are you? I'm doing really well. Looking forward to getting a little bit spooked this mm -hmm. weekend and leading up to Halloween. And for this edition of the Update, we're doing something special. We're giving you five local ghosts that you can read up on and look for over the weekend. So come along with us while we take you on a tour of Asheville's Coast. The first ghost we'd like to introduce you to is one you may have already heard of. It's Helen of Helen's Bridge. Helen was a young mother who allegedly hanged herself off of this bridge on Bowcatcher Mountain near the Zealandia Mansion after she lost her daughter in a fire. Now, if you go up to Helen's Bridge, there's a chance you might have car trouble and your car might stall out and trap you in a spooky spot. The next famous Asheville ghost is the Pink Lady who haunts the Grove Park Inn. She was apparently, uh, allegedly, a guest in the 1920s who fell to her death at the inn and to this day haunts room 545 of the inn. Guests have reported seeing a pink mist or even a woman in a gown at the top of the stairwell. Our third ghost is another beloved Asheville personality, Zelda Fitzgerald, who died at Azilicoa Street Asylum in historic Montford when the hospital burned to the ground in 1948. She was identified by her charred slipper found at the scene. Next up for Asheville ghosts, we have the ghosts of the old Battery Park Hotel. In 1936, W.L. Clevenger found his niece Helen brutally murdered in a bed inside the hotel. A hotel employee eventually confessed to the murder, or we're not sure really who did it. The hotel building has also been the site of a number of suicides over the years, and people have reported seeing ghostly bodies falling from the roof. And our last ghost is the ghost of Reynolds Mansion. Guests at Woodfin's Reynolds Mansion have experienced strange goings-on, including noises, apparitions, and more. Supposedly, this bed and breakfast is haunted by Ann Lee Reynolds, who used to have a room on the third floor of the mansion. And that is the end of our ghostly roundup on the Asheville Grit Vegas Weekend Update. Find out more about these ghosts and see everything going on this weekend leading up to Halloween and on Halloween in our full write-ups on AshevilleGrit.com and AshVegas.com. We'll see you on the spooky side. Mm -hmm.